Hi Ed, uh, Kassan from Hey Guys, love to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, congratulations on the movie. Now, um, obviously the first one was done by Tim Burton and this is a different director. Was there a lot of Tim Burton influence on this movie? Um, I mean, I, I, I couldn't tell you about the actual Wonderland and all the green screen elements, but I think that, I think Tim Burton has got, obviously made his stamp, but what I liked about James, and, what, and I've seen minimal amounts, but what I have seen is it feels like he's taken on his own mantle and rather than trying to emulate something, he's taken that and created his own world a little bit. And I think that's important. You know, and I think obviously on set it was it was James's film, and I think that's really important to remember. Um, you know, it's him behind it in the, in the wings, but you know, I think James has definitely put his own identity into it, which, which is a good thing. Sure. And can you tell us a little bit about your character and how he fits into the story? So I play James Harcourt, who is essentially a clerk working for Hamish, who's played by the, I think, wonderfully talented Leo Bill, uh, and he um, he he doesn't really trust his boss but he has to sort of sort of suck it up and get on with it really and then Alice comes back and sort of spikes his interest and not necessarily in a sort of romantic um, lustful way just the fact that he's intrigued by her and this this sort of formidable character and this really strong powered young woman is sort of it's, it's tweaked something in him Ed, yeah. to me, it's a beautiful film what can audiences expect from this one then? escapism fantasy um, a bit of a, a, a real wonderland, and, and you know, hopefully something really visually striking that can sort of, uh, you know, leave audiences stunned. I think in a good way and, and excited. You know, we, we, we all want to these kind of big movies. We want to escape and we want to be excited by things. Hopefully, we'll see a bit of that. Uh, I've got I've got Remainder coming up. That's we, a film we shot in Berlin a couple, uh, year before last. It's coming out with Tom Sturridge, but no, otherwise I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of a, a free agent, as it were. How Lewis Carroll's brain worked in order to come up with such a mad world is kind of, you know, I mean, we live in an age where, you know, I mean, I suppose he lived in a world where your, the power of imagination was key and retelling stories was key. And I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't know why it's stood the test of time, probably because because it's such a mad world, it's so unique. I don't think people come out with, with these stories in such, in such a sort of strong way anymore. I think um, he tapped into something that, you know, can, can, can strike a chord with people, you know, it's humorous, but it also it shows us really strong, you know, strong moral ground, strong, you know, you know Alex is, a, is a, an incredibly um, formidable character. And I think, you know, young people at the time growing up would have, would have been sort of sucked in by that as, as people are today, I suppose. I mean, I haven't had a chance to probably take it all in because I've just gone from camp to camera to start talking to everybody, but I'm just trying to see it for myself. And it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited to see it, to be honest, yeah. I'm excited, you know. Well, I think getting to work with some of the people that are involved was, was a key element, you know, and knowing I was going to get seen, you know, some time with Mia Wierczowska was, was a, a massive draw card. You know, I think it's, you know, as a young actor, a lot of it is about you know, it's not just about scripts sometimes, it's who you might be able to be rubbing shoulders with in the sense of who you might be able to bounce off with. Uh, and also working with James, I mean, it was a real delight to work with James Bobbin, I thought he was a wicked director. Um, uh, a real, really in touch with comedy and comedy, comedic timing and, and uh, you know, for me it was, it was a nice opportunity to get together with some really good people, so it made sense to me to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.